Hello, Leo. Guess what? It's time for your mid-December to January. Reading for this current year. Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. All right, Leos and cross watchers. This is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Aquarius. Please check your birth charts. If this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game or whatever the fuck you want to look at it as. You just boop your nose and away it goes. Because there's no point in worrying about what does and does not. Uh, go with your story. If it doesn't resonate, right? If it doesn't sound like you, don't be tripping, yeah. Right? Right. Newcomers, if you want a person, all the info is down below. In the description box. First readings on the house. Everything else comes with a price after that, of course. Oh, just letting you guys know, um, there won't be a... Uh, there will not be any bonus reads, and I'm, it's going to be the New Year read after this one, so look out for that either next week or sometime in the following week, sometime before January. That's what we're going with, because I've been a slacker when it comes to reads as of late. Anyway, dear Leo, so just look out for that. I've already done this current year, so you can always go back into that playlist and watch it if you want to. Just see if it goes with you or if not. Right now, Leo, your energy is judgment. Either a resurrection or a good idea. So the situation, could you should you keep feeding into this? Making excuses for it? The Three of Wands. Your wants and wishes, the Ace of Swords, the, the truth. So you can make the right judgment call, I feel like. Obstacle and challenge, though. Knight of Swords reverse. Not really trying to say anything. And, if it's, and it's like almost if you say something, it's not going to come out in the best manner that's going to be a win for anybody. Right? Fears and rejections is the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Possibly have to start in something new from the ground up. Having to deal with people. I, 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 I can dig that. That's a rejection, but you know. How it should start, how it'll end, indecision with these onions hitting you in the face every time you want to dig something up. Right? Somebody got a wish fulfilled, and now they wish they never wished for it at all. Hmm. That wish came with baggage, apparently. It's like something. Something you wanted, or, or somebody, something somebody wanted came true, Leo and Cross Watchers alike. And, you know, it, it was exactly what they wished for. Now they regret getting that wish. It's not even like hubris. It's like. Well, it is kind of like hubris, but it was like an unknown element. Let's see. It's like you're waiting for the truth because you don't know what to do. You got the right judgment, but you're afraid to say something because it might lead to having to build something up or deal with something or some body or people in general. So with this judgment card, right? It feels like this burden won't end. Something's bothering you for sure. It makes you feel less than emotionally. Like you're feeling insecure about yourself. Because two people do not mesh. There's no patience between them. That's the temperance card, right? In the situation below, what you're waiting on, the three of wands. Something isn't working the way you learned it to. Um, love seems like it's in the dark. You're not sure if it's there anymore. You're riding up to look at it, it seems like. But you just don't know. Like... Should you turn your back and go somewhere else, or should you resurrect something anew? Rebirth yourself, or try to rebirth this, if you will. Alrighty. So, wants and wishes, Leos and Cross Watchers. Ace of Swords, the truth. That you don't want to go anywhere, or someone who's stupid shouldn't go anywhere, or. You have nowhere to go? Or, like, someone missed the boat because they were being dumb or some shit. I don't know. Let's see. 
someone not going somewhere. But something isn't working between people either, where the cooperation is like whatever. Hmm. And it's like, okay, hold up a second. Leo and Crosswatchers, it's kind of like. It's kind of like you can see that there's something wrong over in the distance. Like, what is that lightning? Like, it wasn't supposed to ring today, you know? Like, something like that, right? And it's like... It's like... Someone isn't going anywhere, but something isn't working. And someone's just smelling like there's some shit in the background. Like, some sort of disaster, but they're not brave enough to face it. Then we got the Knight of Swords reversed down here. So this could be like the same person not really wanting to engage and now he's like going a different direction but it's leading to the indecision and all this shit going over here is like a distraction from the fears and rejections it's like you're looking the wrong way which is this incompatibility which is this burden that won't seem to um dissipate and that shouldn't be It's like there's a root of the problem where that lightning is a little bit. But you're so focused on like... Or someone is so focused on these issues over here where things aren't moving, things aren't changing, things aren't being um, as secure emotionally or making someone feel like they are themselves emotionally in some way because of incompatibility, I feel like. That it's like a distraction from what's going on over here. Where there needs to be like some delegation, I feel like. Or some talk about some wish that like turned out to be kind of shitty once you got it, you know? So the obstacle and challenge is Knight of Swords. He really doesn't want to engage. But he looks like he wants to curse out this dude for not deciding whether or not he's going to get hit in the face with onions or not. Like he's not sure. He keeps trying to put him back in the hole and they just smack him more in the face. You know? Like, because he's upside down and shit, right? Um, very, very sour feelings. Like, jealousy? Somewhere? Like, jealous enough to take the fucking turtle you bought someone for the for their birthday or some shit? Be like, I know I got this for you, but you didn't appreciate me enough. Like, you know, one of those things, right? Where it's like, hurt feelings? However, there's indecision here with that. Like, should I just fucking leave because I don't feel like I'm wanted or loved? Because, like, I, I can do that shit, you know? Or should I still try to ride up and offer my cup? Because the dude's riding in over here with this ace of cups as well. Just being like, should I keep offering this? Should I keep trying to keep it alive almost? You're torn between the two instances right here. Leo and Crosswatcher. Or this is the person you're dealing with. Whoever this parent fucking is. Doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you don't like cursy words, I'd like, I'm sorry. So, you know. I'm a fucking bad. Anyway! Hmm. Four cards for the next one, which is the fears and rejections, right? Page of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, of course. Um, let's see here. It talks about socialization. But I feel like there's a fear of this person wanting to do that. Like, they're a novice at something. Or they aren't aware of, like, the potential of the skill they have. Like, it's very, like, novice. It's very, um... I could try to see if I'm good at this, you know? And then, turn and then like, eventually, like, develop the skill enough to where, like, you know, it benefits them greatly. It's almost like a fear of that. I don't know if this is a person you're dealing with or you're afraid of your own capabilities something right but it's like this person or this situation where you're trying to like hone your abilities could drive somebody away where like they don't mean it to or they don't mean it you know and then they're really regretful about that and then they try to get over the heartbreak but there's a lot of mixed signals It's a lot of mixed signals here. 
or they just don't know how to like or someone is just unaware about what this person is trying to, yeah just mix signals yeah like someone just doesn't know what this person is trying to fucking say and that's what scares them you know like it, it like yeah the bird's bringing me something but is it a bomb or is it a, a, a war it's like no matter what this person says or does um when they try to approach you on a uh On a, some sort of, um, it's like they want to talk to you about something, Leo and Cross Watchers. But it's like whatever they want to talk to you about, you're afraid it's going to drive you away. It's like you'd rather cut the shit down before actually hearing it, which is like, okay. But, like, you might want to communicate a little bit. I don't know. Like, maybe that's my Aquarius moon talking. Because, you know, communication's really important to me. You know, I'm going to... And I have a Sagittarius rising. So it's like... I, and I'm a Capricorn sun. So, you know, my mouth runneth over way too much, you know? But it feels like... I don't know. It's like whatever this person tries to talk to you about, in their best of manners, it, it, you just can't do it. You, it it's, you can't do it. You can't hear it. Or someone's doing this to you guys. Now with this two of wands reverse right here, this is how it starts. This is how it ends. We have the king. I guess I want to make sure. Okay. King of pentacles right there. Once again, Capricorn towards Virgo. This time they're reverse for some reason. And they probably done goofed. They probably done goofed something up. But despite all that, it's like they're still wanting a reason to stick around. Because, you know, there's probably a lot of trash in the fucking sea. Sure, there's fish, but there's still trash in the sea, you know? Hmm. So, uh, the Queen of Swords, counterparts to the King of Swords. She has her back turned, she's not entirely happy about shit, and there is a wish that might have been granted by her, or by somebody else that turned out to be a really fucking bad idea I feel like well okay let's see Leo I'm clarifying now oh okay you go there up in the energy right there's not gonna be any more excuses to be made with shit And the shit's buried. It's dead. Whatever was continuing it on, it's over now. So I guess that's good. I'll leave one more there just in case. Oh, here's the fool. And they're going to go on a fucking journey after all. Look at that. Meet new people. Gain new friends. Or maybe this is like an ending to something. And whatever's going on, someone's drifting to new people. You know, dude had to die, so his brother, the juggler, had to go join the fucking circus. He couldn't just mooch off his brother anymore or some shit. You know? Down in the situation. Someone wants the cookie out the cookie jar, even though the cookies are put away. Those are fucking hot, you little shit. You know? Someone, it's like someone's a bit childish and took something from a mother figure. Who's kind of bitter about how things are going. Fight Leo, you can have three out of all of them. I don't give a shit. Let's see. One more. I'm not too sure about that. It's like someone went into the treasure box when everyone was supposed to pack something away. Just to play with something with their dog. You know, like try to use it as a frisbee. Frisbee. My bad. And this greatly, dis and this greatly displeased the Empress. Right? Hmm. And there's somebody haunted. Or, mm -hmm. what was with the situation again? Someone doesn't know if there's any love there. They don't know if they should resurrect this shit or not because it's not working the way it originally did before. It's like someone wants to go in right before everyone takes off to get something, pisses off an empress, and then someone ends up with a guilty conscience about it. Just fucks them up. It's very strange, Leo.
It almost feels like a setup, but I'm not gonna say shit. Anyway, wants and wishes. I don't know, it just, it, it, like, it has that feel to it, but I don't think it's malicious or something else. Or someone discovers something hidden about this bitter empress that's, like, completely different. Alright, wants and wishes. Queen of Wands, could be you. You might be hearing something from your very loyal kitty with information, right? That you need to go look for something. This might not even be your I mean, well, it's got a collar on it. But I feel like it's telling you to look inside somewhere. Or look into something with the herb and analyze some shit, right? Because it feels like you don't know you ha you're having people play sides on you. Pin two people against each other and you're oblivious to what the fuck's going on. Mm. I'd be careful about this, Leo. I would be very careful about whatever, whatever this kitty's telling you, right? Sure, it is part of your uh, feline category. Or whatever that scientific word is that I'm thinking about, right? Or, or if they're from a tree, I don't know. Um, but it's like you really have to look inside and see if people aren't trying to put you in a situation. Possibly third party where there's going to be a lot of head games going on here. It's like um, someone delivers you information. And it's like they want you to look at something. And what this card was is the truth, right? The Ace of Swords. And then there was someone isn't leaving, but something isn't working right. And, and, and like someone's smelling some bullshit on the distance. Someone comes telling some shit. Someone's asked to look inside. But this leads to a situation where like, I feel like someone's manipulated and they don't know by outside people. Like, you know, these two people are fighting over this bitch and she don't even know. She just hears clanking. She thinks she's in the kitchen about to get some soup. You know? Like, she's hungry. They gave her a baguette, but no soup, and she's waiting. She can smell it cooking, but that's on the fire from the distance, right? All she hears is clanging, and she's just like, hmm, are we gonna have any beef? Yeah, we're gonna have some beef, bitch. Just wait a second. We just need to kill the pig. How dare you, good sir? You know, like, shit like that. Like, they don't even realize. You know? I would be very careful, Leo, because I feel like Someone could use your ignorance to an advantage. Alrighty. Obstacle and challenge, Leo and Cross Watchers. King of Pentacles right here. Wasn't he over there? Yeah, he's giving some bullshit. You know? Like, he'll use somebody to drown. Yeah, this person left this other one to drown. But when this person walked away, they didn't care because they were happy they were single. This person walks away to be happy as single. This person over here who's just like, whatever, is going to end up regretting that they let this person go. One way or another, this King of Pentacles could be Capricorn towards Virgo. I should honestly say that in order, but I never think about it until after I say it. Oh, there's the rest. Okay. This one gets four. Ooh. Look at that. Mm. It's like they're being kept stuck from, like, moving on. Because they gotta be a servant to somebody who's their lover? What? Okay. There might be an earth sign here, Leo and Cross Watchers. Who, it might seem like they're sabotaging something. Well, that's almost like because, like, they're past... The point where, like, they should have already yielded something right now. Like, there should have been something to surrender. Uh, whatever that surrender is, it has something to do with servitude in the form of a relationship. Like, you know. Hmm. It's like in this relationship or whatever. Someone's always catered to. And the person who's doing the catering is the king of pentacles and it's like he's fed up with it it's like you know 
I put in a lot of energy. I'm tired of putting in this energy. Here's some shit energy. Here, it smells just like Bill. Like, Bill doesn't fucking care if, it, like, you don't, you don't mind Bill's fucking perfume or his hoof tracks in the carpet or, uh, all these seeds he leaves on the floor when he eats, like, tomatoes and shit. You know, just, it, it's like an energy like that. It's like this person got fed up with, like, feeling like a servant to somebody who wasn't even grateful enough to say thank you. You know, I don't have the most best manners at all, but you know, I have no idea. Sure. Sorry, my husband texted me something. Anyway, but yeah, it's like, it's just, it's, it's a slave who's tired of being a slave, almost. It's like they do so much for somebody. Then this could go either or, but I feel like it's more like this root sign right here. It's just, they're sick of feeling like they aren't doing enough. Which, you know, I can completely understand that, you know, because it's like... If someone, like, Leo and Crosswinder, if somebody always feels like they're catering to you, like, you know, an earth sign could do that for a while because it's a stable condition. But if you're dealing with an earth sign, I would say that, like, they can only do that for so long. Like, they have to have the patience of Job, I feel like, to deal with you because they're so fucking slow with shit. And now it's like they're so slow with, like, dealing with all this other shit. And it's like, ugh. Ugh. You're trying to be gentle with this execution, but for some reason, you aren't letting something go. Fears and rejection. The devil! Could be Capricorn. All that temptation and all that booty in the air. You know. Duh. It's like somebody knew the entire time, but they wanted to ignore something. And now they won't, they don't want to have their swords there. Or they figured out someone doesn't want to have their swords there. Either someone falls for temptation and decides they don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. And that's really what you're terrified of, Leo and Crosswatcher. Or you're doing that to somebody else. And they're freaking out because it's like, this is like, you know, um... It's almost like you've been waiting for someone to break up with you. But it's like... It's an insecurity thing, too. It's like you got so in your head about the thing happening that you kind of helped it along by acting insecure about it. Because it's like there's so much shit here. How this comes full circle, how it started, how it possibly will end. Communication, right? You're going to try to heal. You're going to try to bathe yourself in the pool all naked with your tits out and shit. You're going to be gentle in all of this. You're not going to be unkind. But they're still going to end up being a walking away and the other person just being like, meh. Like, if they're walking away from you, you're going to be okay. If you're walking away from them, they're going to be okay. It's just, it's like these cups didn't matter anymore. And yeah, I think you guys will both be alright being single. Honestly, Leo. I feel like you and your person, or whoever it is, uh, which it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, so don't take it like that. But I feel like both of you guys are running your course or some shit. Or you feel like the course is being run out. But at the same time, I don't know if it's true. Or if what someone's telling you is some bullshit to pull you into something that, like, you really don't even understand what the fuck's going on. 
And you, there is a chance that you might make a mistake or something. But, I don't know. It's up for you to decide. But that's what I got for y'all. So, if you guys enjoyed this fucking video, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. But you don't got to if you don't want to, right? I love your guys' faces. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.